In the previous video, we had a deep look at the vSCSI stats tool that allowed us to give us an idea as to the I.O. patterns of our virtual machine. In this video, we are going to take a look at the VMKFS tools that allow us to really manipulate the file system used by ESXi to our requirements. So we are going to take a look at the VMKFS tools as well as something called parted util which allows us to manipulate partitions at a very deep level as well and in conjunction with the VMKFS tools it actually can be extremely extremely powerful and uh, can actually get us out of a bind uh, especially when the graphical user interface tools fail. So with that we're going to move to the command line and take a look at VMKFS tools. So we are back at the server 192.168.0.201 and by keying in VMKFS tools help uh, this is uh, basically what we uh, see here so we have VMKFS tools uh, piped to more so VMKFS tools with a capital C will create a file system either a VMFS 5 uh, system you can create a VMFS 3 uh, anymore and then what it allows us to also do is define what the device name it would be so that would be a slash vmfs slash uh, devices slash disks and then a, a canonical name on which uh, that file system would actually be uh, created and you would you know basically set the file system name uh, here as well you also have other options uh, which is uh, basically you can span across multiple partitions with this and grow with, with the capital G again we don't tend to do this uh, nowadays uh, because there is uh, plenty of storage available uh, unlike in the old days of uh, ESXi so you are hardly ever in a situation where there is uh, not enough room available to grow and then there are new techniques that storage arrays have that allow us to transparently uh, grow the amount of actual physical disk or uh, storage capacity that's actually available to us uh, without having to invoke this so this this part of the tool was uh, really handy uh, when we were actually dealing with real uh, spinning disks and uh, really were concerned about uh, partitions and so on so usually the the only uh, reason one would look at v vmkfs tools would be if needed to create a new uh, a vmfs5 in case of a disaster recovery and then we needed to make some copies and so on so that would be a use of this uh, vmkfs uh, tools so one set of options which we just briefly looked at are options for file systems and then uh, of course uh, we have the options for the virtual disks as well so once you have your vmfs uh, file system actually set up you can then act create uh, virtual uh, disks there with the disk format obviously three possibilities here zero thick thin and eager zeroed many of the things around the adapters have been uh, deprecated a few interesting things are object type is you can either create a file a vsan or a vwall so again if you are going a uh, low level and there is something you need to do that you cannot do in the graphical user interface this is where you would actually do it you can clear out a disk which means you can basically write uh, zeros uh, to it which would obviously inflate it as well the j would inflate the disk you can uh, delete the virtual disk after you've created it you can uh, rename a, a virtual uh, disk you can clone a virtual disk uh, when you create it you can actually define you know what those uh, options are as well which we uh, saw like the slash d dash d uh, disk uh, format option that we had there uh, when you clone you can also specify exactly what kind of a disk format you want to clone to of course you need the uh, you know vmfs uh, path uh, to do that sometimes with the uh, scuzzy drives there were problems with locks and things of that nature you know that would create problems uh, especially in, in in cluster mode so again having this ability to uh, lock or uh, break locks or release locks lun resets target reset bus reset you can do things like this through only the uh, command line and with VMFS tools and you could do it in, in a relatively controlled way because this is a tool specified by uh, VMware again 
these kind of options of locking and breaking locks are best done with uh, VMware supports uh, approval uh, but these things are available and this is the tool in which uh, they are uh, available. What we can uh, do is to take a look at our ESX, uh, CLI, uh, storage, NMP, uh, device list, we can pipe it to more and uh, this obviously uh, gives us the uh, canonical names that we were uh, looking for and that would be used in uh, as, as input into the command for uh, VMKFS uh, tools. Quit out of that, that's how you would do that. Then uh, there is a utility which is a, a partition management uh, utility. Uh, you have probably heard of it. Let's clear the screen so the output comes on top. Parted with a capital U uh, util. If you key that, so you can say parted util get and then you'll get the partitions if you specify the actual disk. Uh, you can actually uh, set uh, partitions, the partition number. So you can set on a, on a raw disk, basically you can say partition number one, start sector. It's usually 2048 for VMFS uh, file systems. And end sector, that is about 44 uh, sectors before the end. Uh, usually the type is a is, is a very uh, uh, specific uh, UUID uh, that I'll show you how to get and the attribute is usually a zero which means there are no special attributes uh, that are needed. Now I know I rushed uh, past this. Uh, the reason again is that this is uh, something that we hardly ever uh, do anymore. Uh, get table and uh, set uh, partition tables. We can look at uh, one of our, our disks and see uh, what that uh, looks like. So let's see if we can retrieve the previous uh, command and we have parted util again and what we can do is to get the partition table for that disk. So parted util get p table slash vmfs slash devices slash disks slash so where I right click and I hit the enter key and uh, you can see that the partition table is of GPT type but this is partition 1 starts at 2048 uh, that's the ending and then this is very interesting because this is the UUID for the VMFS file system which if you are looking to understand what the various type of these uh, GUIDs are this is how you would do that and so if, if I say parted util show IDs I will get a list of all the uh, of, of those IDs so the GUIDs for VMFS diagnostic for vSAN which is obviously uh, new so parted util is being kept up to date in case you need to go uh, really low level and then of course you have the standard Linux, uh, LVM, Swap and, 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 and so on. Now uh, Microsoft apparently has reserved something as well. But the one that is uh, important and I guess in the future for vSAN, if that's how you want to manipulate uh, vSAN, presumably only after uh, VMware support has uh, asked you to do that, uh, really the only one that one would ever uh, use would be to create a uh, partition uh, that would hold a standard uh, VMFS uh, file system. So the other, other uh, commands that are uh, useful, uh, we can clear this out, are uh, really the disk, the, the virtual disk creation commands. And uh, the reason this is useful is that if you recall, when you create a virtual disk, you actually get the flat uh, and the VMDK itself, so you actually create uh, two files. Well, uh, using uh, uh, VMKFS tools, uh, if you create the file, those two are actually taken care of um, automatically. So to create that virtual disk, uh, we are going to shift to one of our VMFS uh, volumes. So that is uh, CD slash VMFS slash uh, volumes. We do an LS there and we see we have a data store 200G, so we can CD to that. TA. tab I can go with a we are there uh, VMK FS tools dash create 
say 1024 megabyte and we will call it packed disk dot vmdk and that file is actually created now let's do an ls and uh, you will see that you actually have two files that have been created one is your flat vmdk file and then you have the the regular v, vmdk uh, file uh, as well so this command uh, operates at the virtual disk level and understands the actual configuration and and how a vmdk is actually configured so we've seen uh, how we can uh, create uh, using the uh, vmkfs tools command we can create virtual disk that understands uh, the actual internals of uh, of that uh, vmdk file including the fat file and uh, we looked at the various other options of how to uh, create the thin disk, how to inflate it, extend it, clone it, remove it, and so on. That's all available if you look at the help option uh, for uh, VMK FS tools. We also looked at uh, the partition utility and uh, how to uh, get the uh, partition table with get ptbl and then set the partition table with set ptbl. Uh, most important part is to actually uh, make sure the partition is for uh, VMFS, so you need the proper uh, GUID, uh, you can get the GUID through the show GUIDs options of uh, part of detail. So those are uh, very low level tools, I understand that, uh, but these are extremely uh, useful tools uh, for us as well. So with that we come to the end of this video and the next video is a complete section on backup and recovery of vSphere 6 uh, deployment. I look forward to seeing you on that video.